Well, the entire season has come down to this. It is playoff time on both sides of the state line. So let's tee this thing up and we will kick off a postseason edition of Football Friday Night. We start in the Show Me State. The Rockhurst Hawklets looking to defend their Class 6 state title. They were hosting Rockbridge here tonight. The Hawklets struggling on offense in the first half. Nick Jones is wrestled down by Andre McKinnon for the safety. The Bruins sniffing an upset here just before the half. Bo Bell answering the bell. He throws a dart to Nate Agarebba in the back of the end zone. 9-0 at the half. The Rock, though, sneaks past Rockbridge 10-9 in the second half. Half. Next up for the Rock, their rivals, Blue Springs South. The Jaguars pouncing all over Lee Summit North here tonight. Broncos trying to punt, but Dalton Brewer is in there in a hurry. He drags down the punter at the 10. Blue Springs South then turning their bread and butter the football here. Steven Sullivan, he scampers in for the score. The Jaguars advance with the 49-7 victory. To the air we go now. Sky Tracker hopping the state line. Kansas Class 6A. Lawrence traveling to Olathe South. As you might expect, the Falcons love to go to the air. Frankie Soar up top to Drew Johnson. Nice grab in the end zone. A nice win for Olathe South. They get to keep dancing just like this girl. 37 to 14. Break it down there. That is the final. Olathe South advancing to face the winner of this Shawnee Mission showdown here. East versus Northwest. The Lancers with the best nickname in the Metro and a pretty good offense, too. A little old Statue of Liberty play there to Jake Liber. He just bowls over a couple defenders. Liber just would not be denied. Northwest showing some fight of their own, though. A pass back here against the grain. Danny Manning, the football player, not the KU basketball coach. He's able to score. It was not enough, though. Shawnee Mission East takes this one 38-21. Okay, back to the air and back to Olathe. Olathe East showing Sky Trackers some love, but they had no love for Olathe Northwest. The Ravens punting out of their own end zone. That is never a good sign. Junior Williams, he is waiting on this one, and he patiently picks his way through the coverage. Nice little block there, a spin move here, and the Hawks are in some good position. John Kelsch, their running back, he says, you know what, I got it from here, fellas. He slips a tackle and sprints all the way to the promised land. Olathe East sprints on with the 40-23 victory. All right, Olathe East advancing to face to Shawnee Mission West. The Vikings just pillaged Leavenworth here tonight. Running back Brett Sturbach hits Leavenworth with a five-yard run into the end zone. This would make it a 20-0 game. Then quarterback Armani Williams sending it deep to Andre Maloney for the TD. The Vikings were already up 20 and nothing at the half. They would not stop there, though. Johnny Mission West rolls past Leavenworth 52 to 7. The Kansas Class 5A bracket is loaded again this year. One of the favorites has to be last year's champion, the Blue Valley Tigers. They began their title defense at home here tonight against Lansing. Blue Valley running back Brian Nugent. He shakes a tackle. Look at this here. Nice little nifty move. He's making his way all the way into the end zone. Some beautiful moves. Blue Valley just humming along as they trot right through the defense here. Senior wide receiver Garrett Schoenfield. He's getting in on the act as well. He takes this one 30 yards for another TD. No trouble for the Tigers here. They win 56 to 7. That sets up a huge showdown next week with Bishop Miege. These stags were able to dart past Highland Park here tonight. Montel Kozar with a little pump fake, and he's going to tuck it away and keep it himself. He runs in for the score. Kozar doing a little bit of everything again tonight for the stags, just as he has all season. This time he decides to let her fly to Adam Novak for another touchdown. The stags shut out Highland Park 59 to nothing. Bonner Springs carrying a five-game winning streak into their matchup with Gardner Edgerton, but it was the Trailblazers who would come out swinging in this one. Quarterback Jared Hobby pitches it over to running back Trayvon Wrench for a 15-yard gain. That seemed to work well, so hey, why not try it again, right? Same play, different down Trayvon Wrench. This time he runs it all the way in for the touchdown. Gardner Edgerton advances in the playoffs with a blowout win, 76-40. to Gardner Edgerton advancing to face the winner of this one. Mill Valley at Shawnee Heights. The Thunderbirds making some noise early. Their quarterback, Cole Foster, rips off a 45-yard touchdown run to take the lead. A Mill Valley tried to answer through the air with their own quarterback. He's had a great season. Skyler Windmiller, he did have a touchdown pass in this one, but this here was the only Jaguar score. They fall to Shawnee Heights 15-7. Okay, we saw who won on the field, but who was the big winner in the stands here tonight? Our High V Spirit Award goes to the school that best represents High V Sky Tracker and NBC Action News with signs and cheers. Tonight's winner is Olathe East High School. The Hawks win a $100 gift card from High V. High V, the official sponsor of High School Spirit.